Hello friends, it's the month of October and we're going to be making a butternut squash soup. As you know, butternut squash is a food that is as Canadian as it gets. What you need for this soup is a couple of spoons of oatmeal, 250 milliliter of sour cream, one can of coconut milk, one can of cream corn, and about one and a half to maybe two uh, chicken broth or vegetable broth. We're gonna be using some fresh herbs and some dried herbs. The dry her herb that I'm going to be using is dried dill, about two and a half uh, tablespoonful uh, of this. Fresh spinach, about one cup, half a cup of parsley for decoration on top. We need some uh, Canadian um, maple syrup eh? and a couple of um, potatoes that I have already cut and put in here plus one carrot, half of a yam or sweet potato. Butternut squash of course, um, we will be cutting the top half of this vegetable divided by half. It goes in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Uh, the spices are one teaspoon of each, lemon and pepper, cardamom, turmeric, a garlic powder and onion powder, salt to taste, cinnamon, um, ginger and a little bit of lemon zest. Uh, be very careful how much of these you use. You should not exceed one teaspoon of each because they all have uh, some uh, taste to it. You don't want one to overwhelm uh, and take over the taste of the soup. Everything has to be very mild. I have put two tablespoonful of uh, olive oil in a, a large pot. So now we're going to warm up our oil. We are sauteing our cut up vegetables. It's been about five minutes into sauteing these uh, vegetables and now we're going to be adding the spices. Uh, the best time to use the spices is when uh, you are sauteing uh, food because uh, the aroma of the spices will come out best and get absorbed uh, with the help of the oil into your vegetable. We're adding the garlic and the onion powder and now we add the turmeric, cardamom, lemon and uh, pepper. It already smells great again um, so now I'm adding the, the cinnamon. I added the ginger but I'm not gonna add the lemon zest yet. So lemon zest and the salt is gonna be coming later at the end. I have warmed up my chicken broth. First, we're gonna be adding a liter of chicken broth to this sizzling um, vegetables. We're going to be boiling these vegetables uh, as long as it takes for them to get softened a little bit. And uh, once they do, we're going to reevaluate to see if we need to add another box of those uh, chicken broth. It depends how uh, thick or thin this soup is going to uh, turn out or how um, thick or thin we want it to be. Now that these are a little bit uh, softer, these vegetables, we are going to be spooning out our uh, butternut squash and add it to the mix. About 20 minutes has passed for all of this to cook really well and to soften and now it's time to uh, mix, uh, mix them all up and shred them with this handheld shredder. Butternut squash soup is rich in beta carotene with, because of all the orange vegetables that we added in here. Uh, beta carotene is a carbohydrate that is uh, also the pigment. 
and that is in this kind of vegetables and it helps your body to produce vitamin A which is quite healthy for you. To add a little bit of protein to this soup we are going to be using one egg that I've already broken in here and uh, some sour cream. Uh, there is um, a little trick that you need to know about sour cream. Uh, you cannot be using sour cream fresh from fridge and add it to your soup because it will um, open up and it will um, go into clumps. Um, so we are going to break the egg, beat the egg, then add the sour cream. So we continue to mix sour cream and the egg. Uh, the soup has been uh, cooking for itself uh, on a medium heat. And now we are going to be adding uh, spoonfuls of soup to the sour cream instead of adding sour cream to the soup. Now that the temperature of this sour cream is uh, closer to the soup, we can safely add it. Now we can add the coconut milk. We have stirred it really good to make sure that the two parts of the coconut milk and the coconut water are not separated from each other. And now we can add that also. Right after the coconut milk, we can add the uh, cream corn. So after the coconut milk, we're just gonna add the uh, dried dill or herb. To thicken our soup, we're going to add uh, two full spoons of um, the oatmeal. Now we're gonna add the salt and the lemon zest. And last but not least, the spinach. We're gonna add two spoonfuls of maple syrup. We're gonna allow this soup to brew uh, and uh, simmer a little bit uh, in the low uh, or medium heat for about another 20 minutes to thicken. Okay friends, our soup is ready. It's uh, uh, nice and thick and um, smells wonderful and so this is a soup that we make uh, traditionally at our house at Halloween night and that's why we call it witch's brew. Um, hope you enjoyed this.